Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see the save as option in a PowerPoint. So what's the importance of this save as means? So we can normally save the document with a, a different name. So then we'll go with this save as option. But here we can save the slides in a different format. So if you observe here, so I will go with the save as, see, go to the file menu and click on save as and you select the destination where the file to be saved and see you can observe here the save as type so there are a lot of uh, file types so we can save the slides in a lot of file types one is a ppt the majorly we will use and another one is a 97 2003 presentation that is compatible so the file or slides will be saved with the 97 2003 uh, versions compatibility and you can observe the difference this is a dot pptx and this is a dot ppt so the versions about 2003 the files will be saved in the terms of or dot pptx right and the next one is a pdf so we can also save the slides save our work in a pdf which is a non editable format and also we can save the file by using a dot mp4 in the form of a video and this is also a video wmv and a graphic uh, graphics interchange interchange format that is GAF format we can also save the slides in a dot jpg that is a image format so png is also image format a tiff is also image format and bmp bitmap image right so we can save our file or our work in a different formats in a required way so let us see so this is our files so our work that means uh, there are three slides given here so now i will save this one so save as i will go to the destination folder so here i, I would like to save it with a pdf so dot pdf so you can observe here animations dot pdf so click on save so automatically it will be saved in the form of pdf and it will be open so this is a pdf the same slides have been saved in the PDF format that is a non editable format non editable format and one more thing so again go to the save as I will use the same thing so I will save in the same folder and change the format so let us take with the GAF GAF and save automatically it will ask which slides do you want to export whether it may whether you want to explore all the slides or just one so if you go with the all slides automatically each slide you are in your presentation has been saved as a separate file in the folder so each here we are having the three slides so three images will be there in the folder you can observe here see three images this is a jpg image file right so all the our content that means whatever the content available in our slide is saved in the format of jpg right image file similarly there is a uh, one more option that means we can also save the files with the help of uh, uh, in the format uh, that is jpg or png or taf or a bitmap so anything if you go with the anything you can see it will prompt for that which which slides do you want to export whether all slides or just this one if you go with the all slides automatically each and every slide will be converted into a different bmp format see you can observe here bmp this is BMP and this is BMP, right? And coming to the audio, uh, I mean uh, MP4, just I will go with the transitions. I will apply a few transitions for this and I will show you. So this is one transition I have given. And for the content, I will go with the animation. And see, the second slide, I will go with the transitions. I will use this one. So I'm randomly, I'm giving you this one. So I'll select the content, I'll go with the animations and I'll go with the wipe and then third slide, again go with the transitions, I will go with the random bars and come into the animation, so I will go with the fade, right. So now I will, I have applied some transitions and animations for the slides and the content and now I just want to save the file uh, in the same folder in the form of mp4, that is a audio video file 
right so mp4 there's a video file now select this one save as mpg4 save the file so automatically you see creating a video animations dot mp4 so it will create a video file right with all the transitions and animations now it was successfully saved so you can open this one and see here animations dot mp3 if you click on this one see all the animations you have done and all the transitions you have done will be applied and one video will be recorded see you can observe the recorded video right so second slide we have given some this one and fade outs right so everything will be converted as a video so you need not uh, record the video you can create the uh, slides effectively and give the transitions and animations and click on save as uh, save as that file with a mp4 so that a video will be generated and if you want to convert the images so uh, it will be very useful for the youtube creators in order to create a thumbnail simply you can create an image in this slide uh, and you can save it as a image so that the thumbnail will be created right so i will show you that one so i have i will create all my thumbnails by using this powerpoint so you can see here so in this document i will be having all the slides so that uh, i will use this powerpoint to create the my thumbnails you can see these are all the slides right so these are all the slides i will create the slides and i will save this as a image i will save this as a image so that the image file will be created right so this is how we can save the slides in a different formats in a pdf or image or jpg or gif or mp4 right so hope you understood this one if you are having any doubts regarding this session feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you re really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much